Hi, I'm Jackie Keenan. In Chicago Business Today, a new rift at O'Hare. Chicago travelers aren't the only ones delayed at O'Hare. The city's expansion project is as well. A dispute between the city and the airlines is slowing progress on the $15 billion final phase of the project. The city's Aviation Commission upset the airport's two biggest carriers, United and American, by announcing plans to hike the landing fees and terminal rents the airlines pay. City Hall wants to use those fees to pay down debt it incurred in the first expansion phase. That would free up borrowing power for Mayor Daley's long-held goal of building a new western terminal at O'Hare. But with oil prices going up and air travel going down, the airlines want nothing to do with the new terminal, which would bring additional gates and more airlines like Virgin America to O'Hare. The airlines knew that more fees were coming to pay for the runways that have already been built. What they weren't expecting was an extra bump in those fees, which the city or the aviation department says will be needed to pay down the debt early. The terminal has always been a source of contention between the city and the airlines. The airlines who already have terminals, United and American, don't want to pay for another terminal that will be primarily used by their competitors. For the airlines, the O'Hare modernization project made sense when they agreed to it in 2003. Back then, congestion made O'Hare the nation's third most delayed airport. At the time, experts said traffic at O'Hare would increase by a third to 41 million passengers by 2012. Now it looks like O'Hare won't hit that number until 2018. United and American have been slashing routes to protect profits. City Hall and the business community fear the phase not getting done will hurt the city's competitiveness. If the airline industry gets back to growing again, the delays will probably come back to O'Hare. So I haven't heard anybody suggest that expanding O'Hare isn't necessary. It's a question of when. Do they need to do it now? It's not nearly as pressing as it once was. Mayor Daley wants the second phase complete by 2014, but with the loss of the Olympics, the urgency to start construction is lost too. And that's all for this edition of Chicago Business Today. For more on this story, check out chicagobusiness.com and download our podcast on iTunes to see us anywhere, anytime. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you back here on Monday.